I get asked every day on my Instagram and YouTube channels how you can break into data science. But before I can help you, let's figure out exactly which role in data science that you are actually interested in. This is really important because research scientists and data engineers are both data science roles, but the requirements to break into each vary so drastically from educational levels to skill sets. And that is why I created the series Data Roles Explained to demystify all types of roles that exist within data science, what a day in the life actually look like on the job, what skill sets you need to learn, the average salary, career trajectory, and how to actually study in order to pass your interviews. And today let's talk about analytics engineering. Analytics engineers are data professionals who ensure data is accessible, reliable, and ready for analysis. According to DBT, which is one of the most popular tools on the market today for analytics engineers, analytics engineers provide clean data sets to the end users, modeling data in a way that empowers end users to answer their own questions. They apply software engineering best practices like version control and continuous integration to the analytics code base. Analytics engineering is probably sounding awfully close to what data engineers do right now, or maybe even some of the tasks of a data analyst. There is actually a lot of overlaps with both roles because the term analytics engineer is actually pretty new, and a lot of people doing analytics engineering work don't yet go by this title. It only emerged around 2018 as data science industry matures. This role has gained traction as organizations increasingly rely on data-driven decision-making and require professionals who can bridge the gap between data engineering and data analysis. The evolution of the data science industry leading to the emergence of this role can be traced through several key developments from the 2000s to the 2010s and then to the 2020s. Let's take a trip down history lane, shall we? In the early 2000s, data science began to gain traction as a distinct field, separating itself from what commonly known as statistics at the time. The proliferation of the internet and advancement in technology enabled widespread data collection and connectivity. Notably, in 2001, William S. Cleveland published Data Science, an action plan for expanding the technical areas of statistics advocating for a more structured approach to data analysis and the training of professionals in this area. This research paper laid the groundwork for future roles that would emerge as organizations recognize their need for skilled personnel to manage and analyze vast amounts of data. By 2005, the term big data entered common usage as companies like Google and Facebook began accumulating massive data sets. This created a demand for new technologies capable of processing such large volumes of information, leading to innovation like Hadoop, which facilitated distributed data processing. As businesses struggle to derive insights from their growing data reserves, it became apparent that specialized roles were necessary. The 2010s saw an exponential increase in the importance of data analytics within organizations. The introduction of machine learning and artificial intelligence further transformed the landscape, allowing companies to leverage data for predictive analysis and enhanced decision making. And as organizations sought to optimize their operations and improve customer experiences, they required professionals who could not only manage data, but also translate it into actionable insights. And that is when we started to have more distinct titles like data analysts, data engineers, and data scientists. The analytics engineer role emerged around 2018, also as a response to these evolving needs. This position acts as a bridge between data engineering and analytics, focusing on creating accessible data models and ensuring that data is clean, reliable, and ready for analysis. Companies realized that they needed professionals who could effectively manage both the technical aspects of data handling and the analytical needs of business teams. The evolution from traditional data roles to specialized positions like analytics engineering reflected a broader trend towards data-centric business strategies. The combination of technological advancement in big data processing, machine learning capabilities, and an organizational shift towards data-driven decision-making has created a robust demand for analytics engineering today. As the industry continues to have the needs for scalable and self-serve data systems that support decision-making at speed, this role is gaining more and more traction and will remain in demand in the next decade. 
And this is why it's so important to understand each data roles and how their responsibilities fit into your interest and skill sets. So what are major responsibilities of an analytics engineer? The primary duties include building and maintaining scalable data pipelines using tools like DBT, ensuring data quality through automated testing frameworks, and creating intuitive data models that align with business needs. There are usually a lot of documentation work involved for their workflow in order to enable teams across the organization to understand and utilize data effectively. Additionally, analytics engineers play a crucial role in defining and enforcing best practices for data transformations, making sure that data sets are consistently organized, well-named, and accessible to end users. On a typical day, analytics engineers write SQL transformations to clean and aggregate data, monitor data pipeline for errors, and troubleshoot issues when they arise. They could be creating reusable data schemas, setting up automated data quality checks, and maintain version-controlled analytics code bases. For example, an analytics engineer might be tasked to create a dashboard for an e-commerce company that aggregates daily sales data across regions and product categories, making sure that it updates in real time for business teams. Another project might involve collaborating with the marketing team to build a customer segmentation model by designing a data set that tracks user behavior such as clicks and purchases allowing for more targeted campaigns. On the surface, you can often spot an analytics engineer by the set of technologies they're using. They need data warehouses tools on the daily, such as Snowflake, Google BigQuery, or Redshift. ETL or Extract Transformation Load tools like DBT, Stitch, or Fivetran are also needed. Business Insights tools such as Looker, Tableau, or Power BI are essential as well. And of course, coding and testing tools like SQL Git for version control and CICD pipelines. Some of you might ask, how is analytics engineer different from data engineers or data analysts? Great question. Deeper down, you notice that analytics engineers are fascinated by solving a different class of problems than the other members of the data team. They care about problems like, is it possible to build a single table that allows us to answer the entire set of business questions? What is the clearest possible naming convention for tables in our warehouse? What if I could be notified of a problem in the data before a business user finds a broken chart in Looker? What do analysts or other business users need to understand about this table to be able to quickly use it? How can I improve the quality of my data as it's produced rather than cleaning it downstream? Choosing to become an analytics engineer is ideal for someone who enjoys bridging the gap between technical data work and business problem solving. If you love working with SQL, creating efficient data models, and transforming raw data into analytics-ready insights, this role allows you to apply software engineering principles like version control and automated testing in a more collaborative and business-focused environment. Compared to data analysts, analytics engineers are more hands-on with data pipelines and modeling, giving you a deeper technical involvement. Unlike data engineers who focus heavily on infrastructure and large-scale systems, Analytics engineers work closer to the end users, ensuring data is structured and accessible for decision making. And if you thrive in roles that combine both the technical rigor with the satisfaction of enabling actionable insights, then analytics engineering is the role with the perfect balance. Let's talk about who analytics engineers work with on a day-to-day -day basis. The first biggest category is data scientists and data analysts. This role provides them with clean and well-documented data sets that are ready for experimentation and reporting. Data scientists in the old days or in smaller organizations today still do these tasks on their own, but by separating out these tasks to a dedicated professional, data scientists and analysts can now focus on what they do best, which is analysis and modeling, rather than spending time cleaning and preparing data. They also work very closely with data engineers, helping to set up data infrastructure and manage large-scale data ingestion processes. While data engineers focus on the back-end systems that store and process data, Analytics engineers ensure that the data flowing through the systems is structured and transformed into usable formats for analysis. And last but not least, business stakeholders such as product managers or marketing teams 
also need analytics engineers to translate complex business questions into clear data models. By the way, if you need a refresher on what data models are, a data model essentially is a blueprint for how data is organized, structured, and related to each other. Think of it like a well-organized filing system where you have different types of information and each piece of information is placed in a specific category or folder. For example, if you're working with customer data, a data model might define categories like customer name, address, and purchase history, and it shows how those categories are related. Next, let's talk about compensation and career trajectory for this role. The compensation for analytics engineers varies significantly based on region, company, and experience levels, of course. But in the US and Canada, the range is between 130,000 to 170,000, on par with the rest of data positions. Analytics engineers at Google, for example, has a median yearly compensation of $220,000. In terms of career progression, you can advance as an individual contributor. This way, you can deepen your knowledge in different technical skills or industry domains. The IC route is usually suitable for those who enjoy head-down focused holding time, learning new technical things, and those who don't necessarily want to manage people or projects. The management route usually includes becoming the data science manager or a CTO. It can involve overseeing the company's overall data strategy and managing teams of analysts and engineers. You can also move laterally to other data science roles quite easily, such as data analysts, data scientists, with just some additional learning. Most analytics engineers today hold at least a bachelor's degree in a technical field, such as computer science, data science, math, statistics, or information systems. But a master's degree in a relevant field might make you even more competitive. When choosing your majors and courses, you may want to look for programs that focus on data engineering, analytics engineering, or business intelligence. And your courses should include a blend of math, programming, and data management. In terms of technical skills, focus your learning on SQL and Python. Learn how to create effective data models and get comfortable with tools like dbt, which is so heavily used in analytics engineering to transform and model data. There are many free courses on platforms like dbt labs for learning about data transformation using dbt. You also need to learn the basics of cloud computing services like AWS, Google Cloud, or Azure. There used to be a huge barrier for entry-level professionals to learn cloud computing because how can you actually get experience without getting the experience first? But with free courses these days on each platform's learning tab, you can actually gain this knowledge very easily. Many platforms such as Google Cloud also offer free credits if you're a student or just starting out to play around with their products. Some analytics engineering position would also want you to have data visualization skills, whether that is through a low-code dashboarding tool like Tableau, Looker, or Power BI, or just Python packages. Necessary soft skills for analytics engineers include communication and problem-solving capabilities. You will need to often explain complex data insights into non-technical stakeholders on the job and cultivate analytical thinking to address business challenges. If you're still in school, you should definitely consider completing internships that involve databases and data pipelines during the summer. Trust me, doing internship is actually a way more effective way of preparing for graduation than taking summer courses, even if it means you're graduating in five years instead of four years. If you're moving from a different field, you can certainly leverage any relevant experience as well, such as project management to highlight transferable skills, and consider taking introductory courses in data analytics or engineering to build foundational knowledge. Network with professionals in the field as well to gain insights and potential job leads. There are a few certifications out there today that can help you speed up your process of learning. Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate or the AWS Certified Data Analytics are both great courses to get a solid understanding of analytics basics. DBT Fundamental Certification is also needed if you have never used DBT before. I hope this video helped you understand more about this role. Analytics engineering are in high demand. I have personally seen a lot more job posting popping up lately with this title. 
It is also a great profession in my opinion because when a company reaches the stage where they need analytics engineers, it usually means that their data team is somewhat mature and well established, so you'll likely be working in a structured environment. Don't forget to hit that like button if you watch this far, it will really help my channels a lot. And thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment below what other data professions you would like to see explained next, and I'll see you in the next video.